Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. I'm your host the Gamer Darius. Last we left off, we're now in modern day London. And we had just escaped the Society of Leopold, which is not a very nice place, but I got a lot of experience from that place. Holy balls. Uh, but yeah, so I had a story to tell about uh, my few, few times that I actually managed to play Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, one of my friends was very much into being a storyteller of the game. And, uh, one of the things that he always said was that, yeah, celerity makes you super fast and, you know, you get so many actions. And it's like, okay, cool. And one of my fellow players... I cannot wander the streets clad thus. I have need of suitable garments. Boy, you need a lot more than some new clothes, you freak. You need to hand over your wallet. I know not thy language, but thy intent is clear from the mask that obscures thy eyes. Thou art a common cut purse. What? What's this about a purse? Shut up and give me your money. I shall give thee my blade instead. Yeah! Are you crazy? Oh, uh, please don't hurt me. Uh, take my gym bag, please. You, you need clothes, right? I got clothes, so you take them. Just don't hurt me. I thank thee for this gift. Go forth and steal no more. Uh, right. Okay, I'm gone. <laughs> That's hilarious. But yeah. I... Oh god, I look like the Highlander. And that's not a bad thing. But no, um... But said friend would then insist that because he had like three ranks in celerity, I don't remember how the rule said, but he had like a hundred plus actions. It's like, dude, come on. So like every time his turn would come around in some sort of combat or some sort of narrative scene, he would just pretend he was essentially the Flash. I'm going to assume that that is the British slang term for a police officer. Bobby. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. Uh East London, sure. Well hello. Wonder if Serena and Willem made it to this time period. I mean they survived after all. They weren't hit by a giant ass pillar. So, just wandering around the streets of London, I think. Brothel? Ooh. I can already tell you, I might enjoy that place. Alright. Probably not going there anytime soon. No, 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 no. Do not attack a pedestrian randomly. There's that whole masquerade thing now. Uh, this way, then. I'm going to be so terribly lost. Oh, docks. Actually, wait. What's in my quest? Find the source of the ship. Yes, thank you. Explore London for clues about the shipments of Earth from Prague. I mean, sure, that only makes sense. I wonder if I can sell anything to anyone. Don't mind me, officer. I'm just carrying a big heck off sword. Not like I... Oh. Bridge Haven. Oh! This is where I can actually level up, isn't it? I'm gonna save just in case. Oh, sweet Jabus. So, um... <laughs> yeah. Feels like I had just run through with Eric all over again. Oh, poor Eric. I shall miss thee. Uh, let us pump it into strength some more, please. And then some more into stamina. Uh, really don't have any other ones I could... Maybe potence. Actually, wait. How much is blood strength? 100 too much. Maybe I'll just save it. Yep. 
I already got all my stuff. I have. I am suddenly curious. Who set up that haven? I mean, you know, it's freaking London. There's likely to be. Hello? Auto. What? What do you want? Alright then. Uh, I wish to sell all the things. Also, I'm in rags, if you haven't noticed. I may also need to procure some sort of alternative method of cloth. Then he just replies with a, You what, mate? Wait, Jeebus, if I... I swear, if it wasn't because I really didn't want to continuously get shot at and fired at and lit on fire and whatnot, I would run back into the Leopold place there and just kill whoever else ends up being respawned. Oh, but he doesn't have any... <laughs> okay, I suppose these would be the equivalent... Okay, these would be the equivalent of like a machete or whatnot. I don't know why the hell this guy's got a freaking bastard sword. Sadly, it does more damage than my Ankrun sword, but... You know. Light enhancing goggles. I'm sorry, so you just have night vision goggles. Did I go with a leather vest look? The light ballistic vest. Probably the light ballistic vest, if I'm going to be completely honest. I mean, rule of cool says the leather jackets. But rule of I don't want to die says the bulletproof vest. Uh, wouldn't be much point of brass knuckles. Now I'm wondering if I should have kept the pistols so that if I ever do get any other allies, I can be all like, okay. We're good. Get lost. Hi. Dude. Don't do me in like that. Tell me to get lost. Could have sworn I was just a really good customer right now. Hmm. There's no place like London. There's no place like London. Seriously. Alright, that's the haven. I just go down the place... West London. Okay, yeah, this is where the Society of Leopold is. But if I exit out this way and take a Louis... Where will I end up? Dang it, phone shut up. Can't help but always think about like what the hell Then block it off, game, come on. Ah What irritates me is that they also haven't provided any other landmarks that I could possibly actually go, so it's like, oh guess I'm wandering the streets of London in the dark. Which I might just up the brightness. Curio shop. Here we are. Magpie's Curio. Hello. Hail and well met, keeper of the Curio shop. I am Christoph. Well, well, well. What have we here? Thy shop displays items of great import. We would examine thy wares. Very well, then. Sumner Montague at your service. Uh, I wonder how weirded out he'd be like if I just dropped the finger and been all like 780 go uh, 680 gold, please. Uh, blood pouches, blood stones, plasma bags. I'm oh, sorry, are plasma bags more expensive now? Jeebus. It's ridiculous if that is the case. Uh, I should carry a couple of walk the abysses just in case. I can't sell those off. I uh, still want to grab like a blood bracelet or something. Some, or some mini bracelet. If I could take anything from him, 
I'd say the Serenity bla Bracelet. I also can't talk. Wait, Bloodstone had... Why was it that had five charges? This had five charges. That is way more of a di- Oh no. Five charges, but it's only 25 per. Hmm. Now let's grab a couple of those and call it a day. Also sell some of these pistols clips. Just guys. I know I'm doing something wrong. A pleasure serving you, Kristoff. Good day. Do come back when you have more trinkets. Or more cash. Dude, I could just run into a certain place and just murder everyone there. They'll drop diamond rings and whatnot. Diamond rings and whatnot. Seriously, why was every why was everyone in there like, oh hey, diamond ring? Maybe it's their wedding bands. Now I think about it. Hmm. Nah, still don't feel all that bad about it. Oh, that's the society. Although it was a significant amount of stuff that I was just wasn't able to pick up. Temptation. Temptation is really good right now. Okay, no, I went that way before. Maybe the nightclub. Maybe I say I said the nightclub because I heard that thump 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 music, but then I saw the onks. Like, well, this is a vampiric owned nightclub. I better save before I ruin everything. See, this is the better kind of music. Just saying. Baki. We have a wide selection of Vitae for your dining pleasure. We have blue collar brews, white collar cocktails, and pink collar daiquiris. We've got young blood, old blood, tainted blood, and blue blood. We've got innocence, we've got experience, uptown, downtown, Park Avenue matrons, and Bowery wine. Our special of the day is a succulent free range virgin Fresh off the bus from Iowa, free of additives and preservatives. You'll find it a tart blend with a crisp and refreshing afterbite. Sorry, I was just reminded of the uh, scene in front of the pyramid bar place in uh, Dead by Dawn. Phoebus. So he sells straight up blood. That's That's good. Doesn't buy anything though. Lady's just kind of spazzing out there. Are we looking at actual goth girls or are they just vampires? Can't tell. Oh, hi guy. Bottoms up. Ah, eh. blood's a bit diluted here, eh? What, you fresh out of the grave? Newly embraced? You look it, with that deer in the headlights look pasted on your gob. Do not presume to mock me, whelp. I am far older than thou knowest, and have no patience for the likes of thee. Well, well, well. Oi, barkeep! Get this antique blood sucker a swig of vitae, courtesy of pink of Clan Brugia. Don't water it down, you mortal worm. This'll put some color back in your cheeks. Air of the bat that bit you. <laughs> thou art Brugia? Art thou a Promethean? <laughs> you must be a fossil. The Prometheans are ancient history. Those nutters are long dead, along with their utopian ideals. <laughs> what a load of bat shit that was! And what's your name, you crusty old relic? Forgive me, I am Christoph Romuald. Oh, Christoph Romuald. Christoph Romuald, once of the Order of the Sword Brethren, once a Promethean Brugia, and now... Now I know not what. Weary. Alone and 
damned, I can't help. But no one is alone with old Pink around. Especially not a fella Bruja. But here's to Christoph, the last of the Prometheans. Welcome to the new world, Squire. Hope you like what we've done with the place. So, where will you be creating your Promethean paradise on Earth, Squire? All I wanted was to be with my Nesca. <laughs> A bit of crumpet, eh? I've heard of worse paradises, and no mistake. But Farah Nesca was taken as ghoul by that Zemitsi monster Vukudlak. After such horrors as I have endured, after losing so much, I awake to find I have finally lost all. For I have lost her. Yeah, not so fast, Squire. There's two ways your bird might be around. Ghouls can live as long as us legs. Of course, you need a constant supply of some eatsy blood, or she'll fall apart faster than Thatcher's reforms. And if one of them fiends embraced her, she'd be around today as one of us. Well, as a Zumitsi. Thou dost compound my misery. I dare not hope such a thing. Twould be a curse if Farinesca lived in such a state for a thousand years. Take it from old Pink. Anything's better than the quiet of the grave. There's hope even for us licks. We can climb the path to the summit. Or, or some such. Thou art on the road of Humanitas? Um, something like that. Thou speakest true. Should Ineska have been preserved for lo these many centuries, I shall seek after her. Whether she is ghoul to that monster, Vukudlak, or one of his vampires, I shall find her. Find her and destroy him. He will pay in angry blood. And if I find only her grave, I shall... I shall be exceedingly glad for her soul. Rare thing, such passion in licks. Bloodless pack of cowards these days. Tell you what, I'll help you find this bird, Aneska. I hate the Zumitsis too. I could enjoy sinking me fangs into a fiend or two. I mean, who else could I possibly get? Hey Lord Pink, thou art honorable. I accept thy kin kindly offer. Hey Lord Pink, thou art honorable. I accept thy kindly offer. You need me to tell you what's what. The camera really have a million little rules. Wipe yourself with the wrong hand, and these licks will call down the justicars on you. What? Nothing. Just a joke. Thou art unlike the vampires of my world, for most only assisted me for their personal gain. <laughs> well, what's left of us, Bruja, gotta stick together. Even if you are a moldy old fossil. So... Where did you last see this bird of yours? I last beheld Anezka before the collapse of the Zemitsi stronghold in Prague. I have since learned that the Zemitsi have traveled from thence to London, and by sea to a land west of London called New York. Perhaps this New York lies within Ireland. <laughs> no, ever since the famine, Ireland lies within New York! <laughs> there are isles west of Ireland? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Little place called America. The United States thereof. United States. An auspicious name. For I wish my own state reunited. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Perhaps in New York shall we find a criminal named Giovanni. Giovanni? They ain't one guy. They're a whole clan. A whole clan of criminals. They snacked on old Cappadocius and sucked down all his juice. The entire Cappadocian clan is gone. And the Giovanni have their power. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The Cappadocian clan seemed oddly gullible and ripe for domination by schemers even in my day. What became of the Bruja? <laughs> what hasn't? The Bruja are all kissed and made up with the Ventru now. In one big happy family called the Camarilla. The Toreador, the Gangrel, the Nosferatu, the Looney Malkavians, even the Tremere bosom buddies. Out of fear of Gehenna, mostly. Our real enemy is the Sabbat. 
made up of the Sumitsi, the Masambra, and a pack of the most vicious licks in the world. I don't care for the snobs of the Camarilla any more than the next lick, but I don't want to dig my way out of a bloody grave. That's what the Sabbat do to you. Beat you to the brink of death, then bury you. When you start starving, you claw your way to the surface, the madness killing any bit of humanity in you. So I work with the Camarilla against the Sabbat. My past is dead, and I am no longer a pawn servicing the whims of the elders in their jihad. It ain't good to be alone out there. It helps to have a gang at your back. Especially if you want to find this Ineska. I can't help you find the Giovanni, but I can help you find out about any bootleg shipping. The filthy Setites run all the bootleg shipping in London. I know a Setite knocking shop on the East End. Now let's put the boot into some snakes, but watch yourself. The Setites are a real bad seed. Knocking shop? <laughs> I know you had them in your day, Chris. Even a geezer like you can't be older than the world's oldest profession. <laughs> now come on, we're gonna need some supplies. You can sell some of that old junk and get some real weapons. We require an armorer and an alchemist. Uh, something like that. I... You know what? Dude grew on me pretty fast. Uh... 80,000... I'm not even close... What? How are you at Gen 8? Not even close to experience when it comes to you, buddy. The frick? Well, I know where the hell he's talking about, at the least. Both Otto and the, um... Sh okay, yep, you got a shotgun and a pistol. I guess we should load you up, huh? And yeah, just give you that shit. Ah, oh, damn it, does that mean I actually have to buy the ammo? Frick me. Just frick me. Guess I ought to run. All these horseless carriages and electric lights must be too much for your little medieval mind, eh, Chrissy? <laughs> yeah, true. I have witnessed the perverse experiments of the Tremere, clay that walks like a man, and spirits of the dead. Lights and wagons have no power to enthrall me. Ah, shut up. Who asked you? You'll need me if you want to survive in this world. I mean, to be fair, it is a pretty valid question, but at the same time, when it comes to a vampire, it's just one of those things where it's like, eh, whatever. Like, holy balls, man. Now, where the frick was, uh... There's the curio shop. I'm close to... Who's in my Westedville? Actually, now that I got an extra person, I wonder if I shouldn't... Uh, wander right back... I don't know. I, I keep on thinking... I keep on thinking in a way... Playing in a way that is not very let's play friendly, i.e. running back in, seeing if I can't gather up all the loot. Of course now also part of me wants to wants to just kindly do that EXP cheat one more time just so I can get to the same level of should bring you up to date on the modern world, Christoph. Let's see. Against all odds. Peddlers and money changers defeated the priests and the nobles, so now merchants rule the world. Peasants rule themselves by voting on who gets to be king in his court. And some people still believe the world was created in seven days, even though men have walked on the moon. I mean, to be frank, that might sound amazing. Heh. <laughs> I shall see to it thou joins them on the moon, if thou dost not cease thy foolery. <laughs> You'll see, mate. Uh... Hello? Uh... Alright, I'm close to the Setite place. Yep, here it is. I wonder 
just how easy this is gonna be. Probably not very. I was that tender art of yours, Chris. These damn setite snakes ghoul the working girls and boys and sell them to mortals and kindred alike. Kindred pay to feed on the poor harlots, and the setites feed on the mortal customers. The juice bags leave tired, but they never suspect a thing. Cozy as you please. The mistress of the place is a satite called Lucretia. She sells some of their ghoul slaves to the Sabat in America and runs drugs and weapons through those cargo ships of yours. Maybe she's picking up some extra cash moving mud for the fiends. Yeah, more than likely. More than likely. Let's pop on in and say hi. Hello, sir. I'll flush those white cheeks. Hey, boys. I've got what you want. Love, you don't even know what I want. Fresh blood. I'll take it back. I guess you do know after all. Calm yourself there, Pink. Calm yourself there. We're here for Lucrezia. Hi. Don't kill me! I'm not one of the Sedites. I'm from Clan Toreador. Prove it. Who are Cry Cry Cry? Uh, you mean the American band Cry Cry Cry? Aren't they that acoustic trio that even though they're all songwriters only does covers of songs by other groups and performs the most depressing- Enough! She's a Tory, all right. Please protect me. I'll help you with whatever you need. Come upstairs. I'll flush those white cheeks. All right, then. Let's see. Perhaps it will be a valuable ally. Perhaps you will be a valuable ally. Oh, thank you. Thank you for freeing me. I've been trapped in that damn brothel for nearly a year. I was kidnapped by a handsome Sedite who came to see me sing in a club. The snakes wanted you to give the mortals some bloody good fun, eh? Slip them a little taste of Cain's kiss, did ya? Most mortals love the delirium that comes from being a blood oh, donor to a vampire. Especially the way I do it. Where is their leader? We have questions about illegal shipping. That would be Lucretia. She's horribly powerful. She lives in the temple of Set below the brothel. I can't truly be free of her blood bond until she's dead. If anyone knows about shipping, it's her. She knows everything the Sedites know. Great. How do we get to her? In the storage area. There's a locked door behind a cheesy-looking stage backdrop of the Valley of Kings. There must be some secret way to open the door, but I don't know what it is. Alright. So I will take, take a look at Liddy, who is... Oh my god. God damn it. All right, maybe maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. No, not that one character. Maybe she's mostly about oh. Nope, it's as bad as I think it is. Well, she's gonna be uh, a little touch of dead weight. Please don't waste the bullets. I suppose now that I got a couple of allies can. Pass off a couple of blood packs. I'll flush those white cheeks. Uh, she has like no powers. Blood healing. Oh, okay. She's got heightened senses, but nothing that's really gonna help in combat besides celerity. Maybe awe. Awe is about the only one that I can see really being useful. Throwing knives. Really? Okay. Now part of me really wants to have both of us get up to snuff with pink Come there. I'll flush those white cheeks. I I get tempted every thing every single time that she says something to just turn around and decapitate her. Not gonna lie. Okay. Storage facility, eh? Uh, more that way. I'm gonna just take a stab and say they're gonna try to stop me, huh? Nope. Just brothel patron. 
At least the music here is a little bit chill. It's not like though that obnoxious kind of sort of sound that you would hear everywhere. All right. Actress Alia Kings. I would presume that she speaks of this one. Hmm. Actually, you do have heightened senses, don't you? I suppose she thought about that. Part of me is wondering whether or not she's just tuck crazy duck. Did I not give you a gun? I did give you a gun, I just didn't equip you. Now she's straight up Jill Valentining it. Jill Valentine Valentining? Hmm. Where or how should I open it? Wait. Another that a thing? It's a switch. Haha. -ha. Oh, this is gonna get bad, isn't it? I've been told that it gets that this gets a significant amount easier with allies that have guns. I'm hoping that's the case. Wow. You guys went full decor, eh? I don't trust that giant Anubis thing. Oh, hey, set tight. Well. I don't think the set tights really stand much of a chance. Oh, wait. I might stand corrected. All right. That, this, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be another case of this, isn't it? We're gonna, we're gonna kick ass, take names for God's know how long. Then we're gonna get to the big bad, and the big bad's gonna go, hey, enjoy your torpor, bitch. All right, what's this? Old we'll watch. Good. I need a little bit of money. Hey, Chris, look at that old set gobbling up Osiris. Filthy snakes. Their worship of Set is frightening. I've seen such horrible things. Set gobbling up Osiris, eh? That is Osiris, isn't it? Oh well. I know nothing when it comes to anything. I think Set. I think freaking Conan the Barbarian. Not this way. But again, it's not like the music's bad. Let's see. Oh, hi. Man, I am so glad that those guys have guns. They would get so hard in the way. You know what? Whee! It's such a shame that, oh, I can't actually attack that guy. Well, okay. I see what that is then. Come on. Hit them at any time now. Eyes of the Serpent. Yeah, Eyes of the Serpent seems to be some sort of pacifist effect where I can't actually attack that particular individual. Makes sense. I just hate it. Ah, switch. Poison antidote. Suitcase with a hatch of hatch the viper? Is that like a summon snake spell? Probably some sort of summon snake spell. Aha! This is ridiculous, by the way. I was not expecting the minions of set to be, uh, you know, this. Clarity. Okay. Oh, you got a freaking grenade launcher.
Are you out of ammo, sir? You're both out of ammo, aren't you? Uh, do these guys have any... Like, if I were to give you a new gun... Of which there are plenty... Will I have to worry about you... Running out of ammo? Will you just automatically equip the new gun? Uh, let's try going the not-closed doorway. Closed door, not closed door. Oh, hi. Of course, he's got a flamethrower. Oh, he turned into a freaking wolf. Armor t shirt? That's a thing. God damn it. Tick him. Ooh, cash money. And die. Wow, you have some, uh, walking range there, buddy. Or at least some seeing range. Come on. Ah! Hit him in the face! I mean, I wasn't expecting to hit him that hard in the face. Armored t-shirts. 10, 30, yeah, okay. Give that to you. There we go. Can you go guns akimbo? No, you can't. Dang it. Still, it should end up being better. Oh, you summoned a goddamn snake. Wait, was she just spinning that? I think she was just spinning it in her hand. Uh. Another suitcase. Thank you. Steak. I'm not going to worry about steaks. Blood pouches, on the other hand. Alright. Glorious. Wondrous. Violent. Oh, wait. Bulb rounds, give those to you. No, I'm not going to lie. I already kind of missed Serena, but that's mostly because I had went and full on went and said, hey, have all the firestorm. I'm going to be kind of saddened if she's kicked the bucket. I mean, God knows I'm still kind of ticked off about the whole situation with Eric. Of course, then again, if Eric hadn't kicked the bucket, I would have never have figured out just how important it really is to have one character just be badass. Give that to you. Money, revolver, bullets. The hell was that sound? Oh, Lily knew it, learned a new discipline. She gained a new rank. Okay. I'm kind of confused. Maybe her rank was just always been elder. Oh, don't shoot at us. Give that to you. Give that to you. I'm just gonna put scroll of ignore flame in my inventory because I mean the hell, you know. Really should just drop these. I ain't needing them, right? Eh. Use them like blood bread crumbs. I know I came this way. How do you know? I dropped five pieces of paper here. Alright, more setites. Oh, this guy's got a freaking grenade launcher. Let's fix that, shall we? Thank you. Excuse me. Uh. Yeah, thought so. This is disgusting. I just decapitated like almost seven guys in a row. 
I say that th things are disgusting a lot in this, but holy heck. That was ludicrous. And that's a fine example of what it is that my one one time friend there pretty much did when it came to vampire. It's like, hey, I have a hundred actions. I decapitate everyone. Whoa, fireball traps. Oh, that'll help you too. Little assistance. Thank you. All right, I obliterated a snake just for you guys. Stand by ground. Ah. I need to be careful when going into and out of that door. Pistol clip. Hmm. Of course, it's opened with a switch elsewhere. Alert here. Yum. Uh, I just want to say, how do you think Pink feels? Seeing Kristoff doing all this and being all like, well. Right there, eh, mate. You get it? You're an 800 year old badass. Okay, it was this way. God, I'm going to get the others so goddamn lost. Gnome. Yep. Ah, dang it. You blew up your viper. Just, just want you to know, you blew up your own viper. Ooh, money. Hello. Another viper. More vipers, rather. Thank you. I was about to say, how the hell was I missing that viper so many times? That was meaning this one. Yum. Gentlemen. We wish to know of thy shipping routes. <sighs> Slaughter them. Infidels. You will suffer the death of a thousand cuts. <laughs> Doesn't sound so threatening when I got a sword that causes one really big cut. You know, that would be hilarious. Well, it's more hilarious to me, really, than it is just actually hilarious. But imagine, if you will, that they had decided, hey, why don't we make it so as these set, who are very Egyptian themed and whatnot, actually do have to use like Egyptian ships I mean mind you they're still in present ships but I doubt that they could have you know held up on the ocean the Nile yes the ocean eh Nyom. excuse me I had a grenade launcher Hit the guy with the grenade launcher, please. Heal. Now hit the guy with the grenade launcher, please. Oh, those throwing daggers actually do return to her, so... It's not terrible as I thought they were. Alright, thank you. A little <laughs> oh, Pink, get over here. You're using this thing. I'm pretty sure you've been having so much fun just bludgeoning the ever- You'll have so much fun bludgeoning the ever-loving crap out of everything. Alright, how much do you want to bet that there's another one of those switches on the other side? That I'm gonna have to open up. Oh, no. 
I stand corrected. There is a giant switch. I don't trust it as far as I could throw it, which, mind you, seeing as I have... Yep, there it is. Ladies, over here, please. Kindly put away the goddamn flamethrowers. Thank you. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, hello, Mr. Snake. Come on. All right, now it's dead. Good. Hit the switch. Another pistol. Billy, you're gonna have to start carrying some shit. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Oh, a food skate. A tome all about hiding shit. I'm gonna say it. Music kind of reminds me something of uh. Oh, okay. I need to hit that switch to do that. Kind of reminds me something of some uh. What is it? Devil May Cry. Ah. Come on. Thank you. Grenade launchers are dangerous, man. Like, super dangerous. Ah, uh, I really hope that Anesca hasn't fallen in with the Camarilla. So, as far as I understand it, when it comes to... Oh, not the Camarilla. The Sabat. Sabat are essentially... Anti-Camarilla. <laughs> like, whereas the Camarilla is all about, Hey, let's not be stupid, horrible animals about this. Oh, being immortal thing. Uh, when it comes to Sabat, though, they're very much hey, hate humanity. Let's all be beasts. Not exactly logical in that terms, but hey. Oh, they unlocked me in here. That's what it was the big deal about. I seriously couldn't kill this one Setite while I was in there. Or then again, I seem to be having a problem killing this one Sabat. Thank you. Gold necklace. I was such in a hurry to run into that one door, I didn't realize that there was a suitcase down here full of antidote poison. Poison antidote. I know how to read. I swear. Another revolver. More random ass money. Is that more random ass money? Nope. Leather vest. There you go, pink. I have a shirt. I'm, I'm still just kind of finding it funny that... <clears throat> going in... This entire place... Oh, jeez. This entire place is filled with heavily armored, well, oh, heavily armed setites. Oh, come on. Filled to the brim with setites. All of which with have, oh, come on. All of which having grenades and whatnot. And then I'm here with my sword. Got uh, Lily there, who's kung fu fighting. But you know, all for that. And uh, Pink there with a baseball bat. Glad to see that he goes to feed though. More stakes. The stakes are high in this room. That's like Temple 2. Oh. You guys having trouble with a freaking viper? There, trouble done. I really don't need any other things right now, do I? 
Uh, I guess we'll head on down to the next area. This area is gonna suck, isn't it? I don't, I can already tell. Alright. <laughs> well done on that front, though. Alright. Come on. Ooh, balls. Sir, I implore you. Get rid of the goddamn grenade launcher. Thank you. Or just die in general. Come on. Thank you. That was not what I meant to do. But alright. Uh. Any of you other guys see this idiot all the way over there? I want, I'll deal with him. Come on. Die. Please. Begging you. Of course he might also- No, he shouldn't be able to absorb it all too well. Aggravated damage is just that. It's damage that is a pain in the ass to heal at all. Have you guys used all the blood already? Just asking. I already got the feeling that whatever the hell's up these staircases is gonna be bad. Right, now. Not you first, me first. Ah. Of course, then again, what I could also be doing is the old uh, being the healer and having it so as everyone else feeds off of good stuff after he has his fill with his sword. You know, assuming that anyone else gets a chance. Why can't I just straight up attack the Viper? Come on. Oh my lord. So many of these guys here. Well, they're giving me a butt ton of experience points though, so... I guess I can't complain too much. Yeah. Can't complain too much. At all. Ow. Ah, dang it. Ah! I see you too are a badass. Another revolver. Is that the pink? Oh. Flarity went off. There we go. Come on. Jesus. Uh, where the hell is Lily? You know what? As long as she's doing alright. I don't know what's going on right now. I was not in my own control. Just like a place where a bunch of snakes are going to constantly generate. Hmm. Is there even a switch down here? Probably. Oh, geez. Sir, I implore you. Probably sh should consider your own friends, eh? He's not going to consider his own friends. He barely considers himself. Hello, yeah, steak gun. Come on. I almost think that that's a steak gun, but I don't think it was. Yes, steak gun. That is a thing. Uh... Well, thank you for tanking everything there, Pink. You're right. I'm sure you're fine. Oh. Having fun with snakes. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
All oh, right, you're the one that was throwing the grenades all around the place. Fucking grenades. There we go. Yep. Big and fearsome, buddy. Stop it. Don't wait. What's this? <laughs> okay. I just want to quickly see the stats on this thing. Yup. That is a chainsaw. <laughs> uh Link would be in love with this girl right about now, I think. Alright. Let's uh, see about some more violence. Oh. Dang it. Didn't realize my celerity was running out. There we go. Viper. <laughs> Just hearing her over there. Run, 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 run. Uh, I wonder if I should increase her strength, though, just so that she can actually, you know, hit something with it. Compound bow? Really? Really? I mean... I, I don't know how I feel about the compound bow. I mean, I was already super hyped about the, uh... About the hecking chainsaw. Alright. Let's peek on inside here and see what the hell's up. More satellites, of course. You now, if they would only just stay out of our way, we might actually let them live. I mean, I might actually let them live. I don't know about the rest of the party. Lily, I'm pretty sure, wants every one of these suckers dead. Rent, 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 rent. Cods. Ah. Come on. Stop moving. Thank you. Ooh, you look very final boss lady ish. Go ahead and save before this, then. Let's destroy her. Aye. Let us destroy her. Eight hundred years, yo. Oh, viper thing. All right, one second. I need to celerity, celerity, celerity now. Uh. All right. How about going for one of these guys? I mean, yeah. She. I have setted me. So most I can do while I'm I have setted. Can't even use my powers. Ladies. There we go. Come on. Hit her. Lily, what are you doing over there? Actually, I'm gonna focus on one of these guys first. Mostly because I hate getting hit. There we go. Runner chainsaw. Damn! She's not dead. What dost thou mean? She is as dead as any canine I have destroyed. Hank is right. I still feel the tug of the blood bond. She can't be killed because she's got no art. A lot of these damn snakes do that. They rip out their hearts and stuff them in a jug someplace safe. Then we must find Lucretia's heart. Mayhap we can bargain with it to secure the knowledge of the Prague shipments. Lucretia leaves the brothel a lot to go to a secret haven. I don't know where it is, but I've heard the guards talking about escorting her to the tower. What tower? 
The bleeding Tower of London? I think so. The Tower of London? Sure, alright. I guess that's a thing. I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. Because, you know, it's been a long episode. When we return, I'm gonna level up and then, uh... Actually, wait. Yes. It should be a quick level up. Why the hell not? Just real quick, like, uh, that. Do more perception, because why the heck not? Do I have enough for more feed? Let's go blood strength. Ah, you, sir. Not like you needed more. Oh, a mist form? Jeez. Wait, there's more after mist? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, let's go feral claws. I don't want to go shape of the beast. Yeah, let's go shape of the beast twice. And then we'll just... Uh, let's up your dexterity. And a little bit into strength. And then you. Um... You gain a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of experience from that. You learned dominate, so you could command people. Not a terrible idea. Let's get you to seventy. Mesmerize, which causes target to be moved towards you. Eh. It stays effect on target. Yes. Needs 50 wit. Yes. Needs 50 charisma. Gains control of targeted creature. Kindred of equal or higher gin. Not affected. Higher charisma. Oh, jeez. Can I get you to 60? Yes. And boom. Alright, I guess that's all for those. Um, do the dazed effect one more. Because that can be stupid useful. Oh, jeez. Stupid snakes. <laughs> Not gonna lie, still love her riven up that chainsaw. Uh, still gotta find Lucrezia's heart. Well, I gotta change around disciplines when it comes to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and save. Call an episode, yeah, in LP slot, the 16th. Uh, when we return, we have to find the heart of this Lucrezia and see about using it as a bargaining chip, I guess. So, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am suddenly enjoying it again. Yay. As always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.